Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Good morning, John. How are you? Hey, Art. Good to see you. Art, we're in the between time. I call it the between time. Wait, between... Are, are, wait are you saying that we're tweens? <laughs> oh, did How you? nice. Be we're, we're between the holidays, right? Mm -hmm. And and it's kind of like the calm before the storm. The storm is in January when the new Congress comes in. We've just uh. had our elections, our midterm elections, and the new Congress comes in, and that's when all hell breaks loose all over again, and everything is filled with uh, politicians blaming each other for stuff. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest that all we're in for is a new form of dysfunction. Uh. <laughs> But or an real, old form of dysfunction. Right. Uh, yeah. This function 8.4, version 8.4. It just, yes. it just, it's a gift that keeps giving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, if you're in the news business, it is. Right. Yeah. But the real question, I guess, is uh, how is all this going to affect seniors? I mean, yes. Exactly. The, uh, the people can wax poetic on all sorts of issues. But for us, it's, uh, and, and our audience, it's, well, how does this affect seniors? And I have some thoughts. What about you, John? You think it's going to affect I, us? I kind of like it. I'm I'm a, um, a a fan of the markets of the financial markets. Yeah. And um, a lot of the analysis before the election and after the election has been that uh, uh, the the market, whatever the market is, you know that amorphous thing. Um, the market likes the idea that the Republicans would take back the uh, House of Representatives because it creates a split in the government, in the Congress, and a split in the Congress means gridlock, means you've got the two parties opposed to each other, they argue over everything, and nothing gets done. Mm. <laughs> and, and I think that's probably a good thing. Nothing gets done. With The less those politicians do in Washington, D.C., the better it is for the rest of us. They all have these great ideas and Ultimately, they all pass crap that mucks up our lives. That's my answer. Well, but so John, I'm John, happy with gridlock. John, you know, first of all, I want to compliment you because this is the first time that you seem to have really embraced Festivus for the rest of us <laughs> uh, as far as government goes. But uh, my thoughts are um, a little bit different. I agree with you that there's going to be some benefits of gridlock. Uh, uh, maybe for Wall Street, uh, for people who are like all of us who have IRAs or retirement accounts other than Social Security. But I think mm -hmm. that there's one other thing. First of all, uh, we've sort of been in sort of gridlock uh, for the last two years because both Congress, uh, houses of Congress have been pretty evenly divided, 50-50 Senate and then what a four or five vote majority in, in Congress uh, with the Democrats in charge. Now it's going to be uh, the Republicans in charge uh, in, in uh, the House. So getting any bit of legislation done going to uh, uh, the president to either sign or veto is going to, first of all, getting legislation done at all is going to be very difficult. Uh, so I'll give you uh, uh, the positives of it uh, from the standpoint of what we thought was going to be a red wave where uh, every uh, lots of people uh, on the Republican side was saying, well, we're going to attack Social Security and Medicare and things like that. Well, that's just not going to happen. It, it, all the programs that affect us are probably going to be in place at least for the next two years. They won't get any better, uh, like uh, additional drugs on a uh, negotiated prescription price, but they won't tend to get worse. Now, I'm talking right. just and, about and, seniors. Right. And remember that not only Medicare and Social Security, but I think something like 60% of the government is on an automatic COLA, cost of living increase. Right. It, it goes up with inflation automatically. You've probably already gotten your uh, Social Security increase uh, no, this not, year. No, not yet. I'm waiting for the gridlock Congress to kick in so that, because it's next year <laughs> in January. So <laughs> I haven't got my, maybe you have connections that I don't have. Oh no, we we got we got the cost of living from oh, for the for the past year, but that yeah but that was well, a part I, of gridlock. Well, wait for the new year to right. you know don't get too anxious on this. Right. So in any event, <laughs> my only real concern about the gridlock, uh, and I think it has a lot of advantages, is that anything that does get passed is going to have to have enough bipartisan support both in the Senate right. and in the uh, House uh, in order to get it even up 
uh, passed as a law to turn over to the president for approval of veto. Right. So right. that means that yeah, they're, they're going to have to, you know, each each part of the Congress has a majority. Uh, you know, the opposite uh, party has a majority, but it's a pretty slim majority. They, so they can pass legislation in their own house, but it's not going to go anywhere unless, unless they have they come unless they get a, together. Yeah, some kind of a compromise to get right. it through the other house. To right. get the, to the only president. danger I see is all of the, uh, as we know, uh, on both sides of the aisle, there's a huge amount of uh, uh, strutting and, uh, and uh, saying, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that. I'm worried right. about government shutdowns for short peri even short periods of time. Yeah. And I, this is a great subject. I, I don't want to spend with this. Is a, no, I'm saying, a but for, for some seniors, that would affect us quite a bit. But, uh, but let, let me give you an answer to that. No, it won't. Oh. I, I, this is, you are repeating a myth. Just like the government is on a something like 60 or more percent automatic cost of living increase mm -hmm. on, on all these billions of programs they have, the, the things that need to get done will get done even if the, quote, government shutdown, even if we don't raise the debt ceiling, we don't do all the stuff that they threaten in the news. Trust me, it will get done. It's automatic. The Treasury puts out Social Security automatically, even if the, quote, the government shuts down. The, so, the government, the Treasury will pay the debt on bonds, even if the government shuts down. So I'm glad to have this opportunity to correct that myth, Art. Well, I have, I'm glad it's, that it's you corrected the about. myth, other than if we uh, don't approve budgets and we shut down, what's going to happen is uh, if we ever default on our debt, uh, you may not get your Social Security check. We, we won't default. That's what I'm telling you. It's uh -huh. one of those things that's going to get paid. Well, you know what? I'm more comfortable and, and now. By the way, now that you've so, said that, you know, I'm comfortable. You know who else gets paid? Listen to this. The soldiers and sailors and Marines, they all get paid. Trust me. And government employees get paid. After they come back, they get paid. They don't lose a dime. Well, wouldn't it be nice if, if, the, if the people in Congress didn't get paid? But that's another subject. That's, that's let's something. Save that for, let's save that for next week. Anyway, yep. so, but in general, I think that uh, we agree that uh, uh, it's probably not going to be terrible for seniors uh, if, uh, with the gridlock. It's not going to get better. It's not going to worse. Uh, it may get a little bit better from the standpoint of Wall Street in the short term because they're going to have the, the the sense that there won't be extra money being spent on nothing. Well, uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, see about that. Wall Street is not necessarily a good predictor of the future. Wall Street is a good predictor of Wall Street. Okay, so where do we get to? What is the conclusion of today's conversation? I think the answer is we shouldn't worry about it. It's 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 another. It's the news business, you know. They gotta have a, a big story to lead off with. What's the big story? Gridlock. Oh, gridlock. And so some people are gonna make it a terrible thing. Gridlock is here. Watch out. Other people are gonna make it a great thing. Gridlock. Aren't we lucky? We have gridlock. Doesn't matter. It's just there. Okay. It's well, there. then I want I want to have We're a final word by saying, John, thank you for having, in effect, quoted Alfred E. Newman. Okay. <laughs> if we have gridlock. Let me worry. Yeah, it's, thank you very much. You got, you nailed it, Art. Next time we'll talk about something important. Right, like, uh, okay, send us your cards and letters and tell us what's important. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.